Hello everyone, welcome back to Firestore Crew tutorial. In this part, we are going to implement the remaining functionalities that is delete data, add new data and edit existing data. So let's get started. First, we'll move to add functionality. So to do that, let's first go to Firestore service and create a new function that adds new nodes to our Firestore database. So it will be future void add node and it will receive node node. Now we'll do is return db dot collection nodes dot add not dot to map okay. we need now we need to create this to map functionality in our node model so let's create that map of string dynamic To map, it should return title, title, description, description. So this is this. We have created the function. Now we'll create the UI. So inside presentation pages, let's create a new page. Add node dot dot. In here, first let's import material. Let's create a stateless wizard first. Let's name it add node page. Let's give it the title of add node. So. Uh, as we are going to be building a form, we need a stateful wizard. So let's convert this to stateful wizard. And also in main dot dot, no, sorry. Yeah, in main dot dot, in home page, let us add a floating action button in our scaffold. Floating action button child will be icons dot add and on trust will be navigator dot push natural page route builder and this will return add node page all right so let's click this here we are in our add node page so the very first thing we'll do is we'll wrap this column with a new wizard form and our form needs a key so let's create a key global key form is state underscore key is equals to okay let's assign this to our form underscore key and let's create two controllers text editing controller underscore let's say title controller and description controller let's initialize these controllers in our init state method it's empty text 
this in here. Text. Let's add new fields. So we'll use text form field. Controller will be title controller decoration. So input decoration. Let's use the level as title. Okay. Um, let's give our single side scroll view a padding. Sixteen points. Okay. Let's give it a outline input border. Okay. Let's leave it like this for now. And let's make another copy of this. And let's give this description controller. Let's separate this by 10 points height. And then description. Let's give it max lines of four. So we'll have height. So this is title and description field. Let's add a button. There's a button. make it save on trust we'll do the saving stuff let's give it a background color of theme of context dot accent color let's see uh, it's the same we have not provided the accent color so let's leave it as primary color text color as color start white so we have our basic form okay title description and save and for validation before validation let us do the saving so let us write here the save functionality for that we'll call farrestore service dot Check what do we have? Fire store service dot add note. So we need to import this add note, and here we'll be sending a note. So let's create a note. Let's import this. And let's give the description on this called description controller dot text and title will be on this called title controller dot text will not be needing the ID. Okay. Let's make it make this an async function and let's await this and let's try catch. For now just print e okay and if the adding was successful let us pop back pop context okay let's add this is a and no This is description. Okay, let's press save. Okay, the gator text was called on now. Oh, uh, after we did the init state, we have not done hot restart. 
but instead of hot restart we can just go back and call this add new page again so let's add title again this is a note and this is a description let's press save okay it's it's ever okay here we have this is a note and this is a description we have successfully added our note but we'd like to do some validation like this should not be title should not be empty so how to do that by using form let's see uh, in the text form field in title field let's add validator it will give a value and it will return value not equal to sorry it should return a message so if value equals equals null return title cannot be empty also check and then value is empty let's see now here what we need to do is if key dot current state dot validate if validate only then we'll do this let's check ah. there is this empty node ah here is the mistake so if value is null or value is empty then return this so right now okay so title cannot be empty our form is now validated if not we just return null okay so only if our form is validated it will call this add note in our fire restore service and one next functionality that i'd like to show you in this video is this button how to make this button send the focus from this field to this field so for that we'll be using focus node let's create a new focus node focus node description node and description node is equal to new focus node and in our description form field let's use focus node description node and here in the text form field what we want is keyword type is text input type dot uh, sorry not the keyboard type text input action is action dot next okay and on editing complete what we want to do is focus scope of context dot next focus sorry dot request request focus description node ok 
Okay. So let's try this. Let's go back, add. Let's click here. Now we see the next button. And when we press this, we move on to description field. And we have also validated the form. So we are done with the add new note functionality. So the next thing we'll implement is delete note functionality. So that is easy. First, we'll create a function in our Firestore service. Future void delete note ID. We only need the ID to delete return collection notes dot document id dot delete okay so we'll call this function next in our home dot dot in the list style let us add a trailing button trailing icon button delete on test let's use a asynchronous function and let's give it a color of red so on pressed what I want to do is try underscore no fire store service dot delete note note dot ID await catch exception print exception so let's try this delete so this is gone delete this is gone let's try another so this is gone so it's very easy to implement the delete functionality but however we may like to add a confirmation dialog when the user presses delete so let's extract this method let's make it delete delete note let's parasite note.id and let's create this function here void delete note let's paste our function a string id and i'll just pass the id before this we'll show a confirmation dialog so if so So confirmation dialog then only we'll delete this let's create this so confirmation dialog function pool so confirmation dialog in here we'll use so dialog will return so dialog Context, context, error dismissible. Let's make it true. Let's give it a builder. Let's return a lot dialog action should be content so text are you sure you want to delete let's require context here context and let's pass context here 
again here we need a context and let's pass the context here okay and action should be flat button red color text delete and pressed navigator dot pop true Again, flat button, delete, no, well it should not be red, pop context, false, this should be async, this should be future thing. And here I should use await. Okay, so now when we press the delete button, we should get a confirmation dialog and it should only delete our node if we confirm. So, confirmation dialog if I do no, okay, it does not delete. If I do delete, it deletes. So, this color should not be red. This should be red and this color is just maybe there is text color. Color start red so I can remove this. And here text color. Color start black. So let's see. Okay. Now we have delete. No. No. So this is how we can properly implement the delete functionality. Finally, now it's time to implement the edit functionality. So the first thing we need to do is we need to modify our fire restore service here. We need a update function. So future void update note note underscore db dot collection path is notes dot document id dot update data note dot to map so this is how we can update this id is note dot id this is the update data functionality update note function Next thing we need is from home, we need another button. Let's to edit our note. So in our list style, list style in the trailing, let's add, let's wrap this with a row and let's make main axis size size dot mean okay and let's add another button let's make this blue icon dot edit and this should navigate to our add base so navigator dot push context material page route builder will be the we'll use the same add node page and we'll pass the node as a parameter so to do that we need to modify our add node page so the first thing we'll do is add the parameter 
final node node and we'll create a constructor restart node and in here so here if wizard dot note is not equal to null sorry not even here here text dot note is not equal to null then we'll use note dot title otherwise it's empty same goes here text node is not equal to null then note that description otherwise empty okay so let's check it okay we have the values and in here save button let's make this text note dot note is not equals to null then it's update otherwise it's save again the app bar title note equal to null then edit note otherwise add note so maybe we should make this into a function so get is edit mode so return so return mode is not equal to now this way I can simply use is edit mode so instead of this is edit mode again here is edit mode mm, no save button is edit mode finally in here if if is edit mode then what we'll call fire store service dot update note let's copy this at the top this the note and here note let's set this as do this and over this and in both cases we will pop so let me format this document okay so let's go back and do it again edit we have yet another note let's change it let's add one here let's press update sorry perfume update data not found no document update uh, okay if it is edit note we should also provide it with id so i think we need to do this separately if edit mode uh, i can do this here mm. No. let's do this here if edit mode we also need id that will be wizard.node.id if not let's just duplicate this here we do not need the id 
Okay. So let's press the update again. See, it is successfully updated. We can try this again. My fresh note. Let's make it two. And let's check the description also. See. Let's add cat at the end. So this is my note description cat or two. So this is how we can implement the Firestore crude operations in our Flutter applications. Thank you everyone for watching this video. See you again soon.